Hi, this is Jerry KCCG here. In this, I want to call this a, a blog, a, a haunch ponds of different things. And uh, there's, if you were looking to see something about comic books, there's really nothing here about comic books in this one. And it's just uh, different, just different things that I have thought interesting or I've done over the course of, of the past, since the 1990s. And I thought it'd be different and uh, a form of giving you uh, some insight into my perspective and what I found interesting. And I think the first thing I want to start this off with is that I take, I, I tell my, uh, my title eclectic. And what that means is that, uh, I can you have case, uh, I can you appreciate things that run a gamut from, uh, 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 well, a little, mach a little toy you find, you buy a uh, vending machine for 50 cents or a dollar or whatever, to, uh, to, uh, uh, a book, a bookstore. They cost, you know, several bucks, several dollars. And our, uh, something, a, a, a car, or a train car, or a picture, or painting, or, uh, even a box, like a cereal box. Uh, I, I, when I was, a, uh, I had, I went to, a, I forget now, high school, I went to a junior college locally. And I got what you call an associate of arts degree, and uh, while there I had a course in the art that was taught by a a man. Oh, his name was Merle. Anyway, uh, it, the most interesting part of that art appreciation class was uh, understanding the art of advertising, and I even have same. Uh, several clippings of advertisements that are really good art. And uh, I haven't got anything here, but one of these days I'll, I'll uh, take those out and, or make a, 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 a file of those. I really, everything's just kind of scattered on those. But I can find some. And uh, it's really interesting uh, to, to learn about composition. And I think that's one reason why I, I really appreciate uh, certain types of uh, covers, is the way they're composed, uh, the color and the, uh, the way things are drawn. And so that that was playing that influence. But on the basis of art, one thing I learned over the course of years that I would often uh, go to a, uh, it used to be what you call a Hallmark store in the mall. And they sell trade, uh, cards, uh, gift, you know, cards that you give to other people. And sometimes they'd be really nice. And I would uh, get some of the cards and turn them into, turn them into a, uh, uh, buy a frame and stick them in a frame. And uh, see if I can spot anything here. I don't see anything. Uh, I see a few. Uh, here's one I haven't pregnant yet, but here is a uh, example of a, of a card that I thought was really great. And uh, check it out. This is uh, it's just a. Uh, on the inside is a blank card, but the cover is so great. There's a metallic shade to it. Uh, and it's just iris is a butterfly. But it's, it's, see if I turn the light on it get, it might help a little bit. It's, you see that sheen, there's a sheen to the card. There's that. See how the butterfly is? More colorful. And uh, by moving the card, you get a really nice image of the artist's uh, the butterfly. 
that is something I uh, oh yeah, it's, let me see if I can get this one closer. There's so much to look at on this. And maybe I can get it closer, yeah. So you see exactly what I'm talking about. See those little spots on the iris? Okay. The art. Let me turn this off. There we are. See what I mean? Now that is something that, you know, if you're looking for something different to, uh, to collect, uh, cards are, these are moderately cheap compared to a lot of things. Uh, uh, a couple of dollars. I don't know how much they are nowadays, but I haven't been out looking for cards in years, and uh, I don't think you make them of this quality anymore. I don't know. Maybe, maybe they do. But I don't know. But speaking of art, one thing that I found in my cleaning was a few of the old. Uh, posters from uh, a couple from San Francisco and a couple from Los Angeles from the 1960s. This one, this is from a, uh, I think this is a, uh, where was this at? I think it's uh, San Francisco. The, uh, Uh, something called um, Grateful Dead Memorial poster. This is a poster, an actual size. They had a large poster and small posters like this. Is they post it up in San Francisco for the uh, concerts. That is the Grateful Dead poster. This is Grateful Dead with the. Uh, Charles, Charlie Muscle White, uh, uh, it's something else, I can't quite read it. Anyway, that's a poster from the 60s. Also, the other one I found uh, from the 60s, well, I think San Francisco, well, yes, well, this one, this is a larger one. Okay, this is Theolonius Monk, Dr. John the Night Triffer, and uh, the Charlatans, one of the early San Francisco psychedelic groups. And this is at Carousel Ballroom Market in Van Ness. Now, Van Ness is a, uh, like a four lanes uh, street that runs uh, east and west uh, across San Francisco. And uh, we have, and that is really, show you the art. I don't know who did this. I can't tell. Oh, Rick. Rick Sub did this. Anyway, that's that one. And I also found a couple from Los Angeles. This one here. A family dog. Yeah, apparently, uh, 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 oh, no, San Francisco. San Francisco, a little bit damaged. Family Dog did this. That was one of the main groups that was uh, promoting concerts back, back then. Let's so I get that. Family Dog, I says Family Dog. Okay, and uh, see if it shows you what it says. Let's see, it says, oh, Young Bloods and Sparrow. Young Bloods and Sparrow. 
Okay. I'm not going to all about it. And, uh, this is, uh, American Indian and is that Avalon? Uh, yeah. Right. Uh, Avalon Ballroom. Uh, I've been to uh, Avalon. No, I've been to Winterland. There's, um, there's Avalon, there's, and there's Winterland. I've been to Winterland. And, uh, okay. And this is from Los Angeles. This is a this is a, something that was like your, your newspaper. This is doors with uh, Chamber Brothers at La Playa Stadium. What? Uh, La Playa Stadium is in a. Uh, I think this is uh, Santa Barbara. Right, Chamber Brothers Doors. I think that's in Santa Barbara. Uh, okay. And that was back in, uh, look at a year. Uh, uh, anyway, that was just some posters I found in my cleaning. Let's see how much time I have. You are minutes. Okay, well, I think I'm going to have to cut it down. Uh, before I get into this other stuff, I can get another one. But, uh, oh, no, I'm working on a split image. And I'm going to start showing uh, my split image. I think uh, when I do this next one, it'll be for a month in December. I found this calendar thing here from 1977 Ziggy Words from the Wise calendar. And uh, I'll, I'll show you anything about it, but every month I'll show the, the uh, that the words from the wise saying uh, from Ziggy uh, on, in my split image program. So look forward to that. And uh, I will have to end this because it's 12 minutes already. And I, I'll do another one of these too. So, uh, so anyway, next time, this is Jerry. Bye.